While some things are very similar in ProPresenter 6 and ProPresenter 7, there are a few things that are totally different. And the first thing I want to cover is how to assign outputs to different displays. So in ProPresenter 6, we'd go into ProPresenter Preferences, and then the second tab over, it, that, that doesn't say Displays at all. And it's not there. And that's for a reason. That's been moved. So it now has its own place right here in the menu called Screens. So you can disable the audience screen, disable the stage display, or scroll down to the bottom and configure screens. So let's do just that. So here we are in the new configure screens layout. I've already been playing around with some of this and you'll notice that I have three screens. Well you might think, well Paul, why are you demoing a multi-screen module already? I'm not. We'll talk about that more in another video. But I can add, uh, let's add a new siphon output. Let's make that 4K. Okay, so that's four. Wait, that's more than multi-screen module. In fact, let's add another um, NDI output. Let's make that 1080p. You see, I can add any number of screens that the computer would support. So right now I have my built-in one. Uh, that's over here off to the side to the right. Um, which you can tell down here because the output shows you which one it is for the screen. So the blue is the one that you're dealing with. So the color LCD, that's the one in the middle, and the ELC, of, you know, that's actually a television, an element brand television. So that is that one right there. So it shows me these and I have that one selected so that's good um, and for this one I have just a placeholder it's not actually connected to anything right now I have an NDI output I have a siphon output and I have another NDI output that is a uh, 1080p NDI output. And so that allows me to do a couple of things. It, of course, shows that I don't have, um, I didn't have to buy the NDI slash SDI module. That's included as well. And you'll notice the Alpha key is also a choice because I didn't have to choose, didn't have to buy the Alpha keyer module. That's also included. So that's some cool stuff right there. Uh, arrangement. I can group together screens, so I can decide which output is in which screen. I can do this in any combination. So if I wanted to use like a regular um, multi-screen module layout, that's how I would do that. If I wanted to do um, edge blending, that's how I would do that. Edge blending module also included. That's pretty cool too. And um, so I have that as options. You might have noticed earlier that I had a number of devices set to four. Let's, and instead of edge blend, let's go to grouped. And so I could use a triple head to go. I could use the data path X4, or I could use four individual outputs. And in order to do that, I would need to click on this and decide which output that is. Let's call that output um, well, 
let's send that to NDI, a 1080p output to NDI, and let's send this one to Siphon, and let's make that one a 720p, and then let's take this one, and I'm going to have that output be this guy. Now, see what happens? It says, oh, I'm already using that. I can just reassign that as new. So now I've got my output on my left, which I'd probably want to swap those just so they make more sense. But I've got my output on the left, got my output on the right, I've got an NDI output, and I've got a siphon output. Four outputs from ProPresenter, one machine, one instance of ProPresenter 7. So that's a, a pretty cool feature, and I can have multiple screens that do multiple different things. You'll notice I also have corner pinning on each screen that I can tweak. Now, stage display. You'll notice that I have, uh, I'm going to actually put this back to the red original monitor, reassign as new, okay. So stage display, I've got that stage display, then I've got another stage display which could be a siphon stage display. Or there's no reason why I couldn't have the other output, this is going to tell me to reassign as new, the other output is my stage display. So on this particular machine I have two stage displays and no output currently. So I guess I could uh, send one of my outputs with uh, NDI or SDI or um, maybe with um, Siphon. You know, those are my different choices here. And then I have two free physical displays that I can send to stage display and those can have different layouts at all times and if we go down here to screens and I identify the screens here let me turn on the stage display then you can't see it but what it does is it says what screen like it puts the text up there so And it also can identify the particular output, because outputs and screens are no longer the same thing. Um, so that's a cool little feature as well. Something else I want to touch on, and I'll get into that a little bit more later because there's just so much here, is the output could be set to full, but each output can ha can be uh, divided up kind of similar to how uh, Pro Video Player does it. So not only can I up here do a multi-screen kind of thing with different screens, I can also put the output in different places on each individual screen. So that's something else that's cool that ProPresenter 7 does. And unlike in the past where I would have to click on a screen and hit backspace, which does still work, backspace or delete on a Mac keyboard, I now also have this as an ability to just click that and it goes away. So they've added a little more intuitive way of getting rid of extra screens. So that is just uh, the basics here to rename it. Just click on that and type, or click on that and type. So you've got a lot more power here just in this little area uh, in ProPresenter 7.